What's going on YouTube? My name is Ricky and today the video we're going to, going to be reacting to is Falling in Reverse's I Am Not a Vampire Revamped. That's what we're going to be listening to today. Before we get started though, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you have any suggestions about stuff you want me to react to next, please mention so in the comments down below. I will try to get to your suggestions as fast as possible. Um... So, Falling in Reverse, I am familiar with some of their old stuff, so I'm pretty sure I've heard the, I guess, what they consider their original version, not the revamped version, so I'm pretty sure I've heard that. I think it's in, it's in one of their first two albums, which I have heard before, I've listened to those albums, um, but it has been a while, so it's very possible that I don't even have any recollection of what the original sounds like. Um, Usually when I'm listening, if I start listening to Falling in Reverse, I'll start listening to the album um, Fashionably Late. That's usually the one I go to. So this will be new-ish to me. I am very familiar with Falling in Reverse in terms of their style, in terms of Ronnie's voice and the many um, colors that he can draw with his voice. Um, that can go very many, which way? Very many yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so without further ado, falling in reverse, Ronnie Radke. I'm not a vampire revamped. Let's do it. Here we go. Was not expecting this direction. Okay. Well, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. Okay. Sometimes I sleep all day because I hate the sun. Oh. My hands are always shaking, body's always aching, and the dark is when I feel. I I can't I don't have any words. I was not ready for the the ballad feel. Um I have to listen to all that again. Hold on. I just why I wasn't ready. All right, Ronnie. I see you. Okay. Okay. Let me let me re recalibrate my brain here. Let's try that again. For those of you who are not familiar with falling in reverse ronnie um can scream rap is a metal vocalist and so just keep that in mind when you're listening to this this is very nice tone and feel okay i'm sure there's a twist somewhere at some point There's some of the aggression. Ooh, I like that valve. Ooh. I don't know. So I am not a vocal coach in any way, shape, or form. So this is based off of knowledge of terms I've heard. And I don't actually know the actual terms. So please forgive me. But that last little bit... It's either his falsetto or his head voice, where it kind of gives it that softer touch. It it's not uh, it doesn't 
it, it's not an aggressive sound. It kind of lands softly, kind of floats um, to end the uh, the phrase there. I am thoroughly impressed by this and I am so enthralled by this entire performance. Um, I really, really appreciate the progression in which they're kind of building this story. Um, and I'm still waiting for a twist. I'm sure there's going to be something later on. But the way that he is... He's using dynamics so well... And he uses it on certain words, he uses it on certain notes, and he kind of picks and chooses which ones he wants slightly more aggressive, a little, just a tiny bit of distortion in his voice. Um, but a lot of it is still very clean. He uses his head voice when he wants to, and it's kind of like a switch that he can just flip on and off, which is very, very impressive. This is why I enjoy metal music so much, is because the... Uh, Especially the vocalists, especially, kind of get this stigma that that's the only thing that they're good at. They're only good at singing metal vocals, which some of the times, actually, very rarely is that the case. Um, the best example I can think of this is David Draymond of Disturbed. Obviously, you've probably heard of the song "Down with the Sickness," um, but when they did their cover of "Sound of Silence," it opened up the it opened the eyes of the no, the normal public, not just the, the metal community, although maybe that too, but the normal public to the extent in which vocalists in the metal community can sing, not just not just in metal, but in general. Like David Draymond may be a, a slightly bad example because he is classically trained, um, but it allowed the rest of the world to understand that metal vocalists don't just sing metal. Like, they have many different genres that they can portray. And because they sing metal, they actually can um, portray a feeling that maybe not a lot of normal or classically trained singers can portray. Um, I, I am... I, we gotta keep going. This is amazing. Hold on, I have to hear that progression again, because it... it didn't make sense to me for a second, but then I caught on, but I have to hear the transition. I have to listen to this again. The, the they mastered this perfectly. Where that first, uh, when I noticed the layering, when I commented on it, it had like maybe three or four layers of vocals there. There was a octave lower. There's a bit of a. I think there was a lower harmony as well. But then the very next bar that he comes with is a very soft single take vocal where it was. It made it. It it made the line very vulnerable which is a very nice feeling and touch. I have to, one more time. Like also, hold on. Um, the, the, the lack of, um, rhythm, uh, like rhythmic, 
how do I, how do I explain this? That section where he's just kind of freelancing the words and the rhythms will throw people off a little bit, but it, it lends itself to creating kind of its own path. It's not just something you can write on paper. You know, it's something that you feel that's what you, that's what Ronnie felt in that moment. And that's exactly how he portrayed it. And it gave it all the, the colors that he wanted to. And this is, I'm so impressed by this. There. Here's a layering. And hi, my name is Ronnie. I'm an addict. Single line. And daddy should have never raised me on black. Hmm. I can feel it in my bones. When did I become so cold? For goodness sakes. Hmm. Orchestration is fantastic. I have one more time. That 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 was almost a belt, but not quite. But it had so much power. But it was controlled. And I know this is a six-minute video, and I'm so sorry this is gonna take forever. But I I one more time. unbelievable i thoroughly that last part so when he's doing the screams a, a part of me was hoping that there was going to be some sort of like metal instrumentation in the background and i'm actually glad that they didn't because it allowed ronnie to um really give you the right message the right feeling the right just, oh, it just makes you want to like 
clench and want to do this and it's like that stink face like mm. and it, it's just without it I, i'm glad that the orchestration that they used was loud i guess is the best w way to put it like very fortissimo um very fortissimo it's redundant i'm sorry for all my music people out there um <laughs> but i'm actually glad that they didn't use like any drums or any like um uh, electric guitar or anything like that because it allowed Ronnie to just feel the music and the, the lyrics and he just went I can't I I speechless dude Ronnie God dude I don't even I don't know what to say man like the dude has he is so talented and now don't get me wrong I know his background and whatnot he has gone through some stuff like he is maybe not <laughs> the greatest person but as a vocalist in the metal community man that I am just so impressed like and again this is why I love metal music so much because this is this is a metal band falling in reverse is a metal band and that performance just happened like tell me like obviously there's the select view but tell me like a pop singer who could do a metal song with that kind of interpretation like it just doesn't happen there's a reason why they're in like that each person is usually in their niche um again i'm not saying that no one has that talent but the it's usually the other way around where metal singers can probably sing other stuff but pop singers maybe not so much um but ugh. i'm just gonna soak in this forever i am s i god Whew. i don't even know what to say like honestly i am thoroughly impressed and shocked and i i loved everything about this like everything round of applause all around falling in reverse ronnie radke you guys you, you dropped the hammer on me i was not ready <laughs> all right guys with that that is going to end today's video of falling in reverse i'm not a vampire revamped and boy was it ever revamped um, thank you again all for watching if you made it this far. Um, again, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment for any uh, videos you want me to react to next. And I again, again, I will try to get to them as many as possible. I've gotten a ton of um, suggestions off of the ghost video. You guys have really been very supportive and very kind of with your suggestions. Um, and I got a bunch of stuff for ghost coming up, so that will be coming. Stay tuned for that. Again, also, don't forget, we stream on Twitch um, three days a week, or at least we try. Um, typically, we're Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Hopefully, you guys will check that out if you guys are interested. And until then, I'll see you for the next video. Take care.